Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Caroline or Karis Cafe if you know me from Twitch. Um, I am a cozy gamer and I do a lot of like Minecraft content, Stardew Valley, Coral Island, um, Fortnite, Apex Legends, just like games like that. Um, I also do some vlogs here and there. Uh, I haven't really done any in about a year just because life kind of got crazy busy and i started a job as a barista but i've been thinking of revamping them um so if there's a vlog that you'd like to see leave a comment in the like below the description of the video um but i thought about getting with my friends at work and just kind of recording stuff that we go and do um that would be kind of fun to see i would think um but today, we are going to be doing some unboxings. I have two blind dates of the book. So I have this one right here and this one right here. This one is a fantasy book and this one right here is a spicy fantasy. She's got the label right here. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to do these. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to link their TikTok shop like links or their like TikTok usernames in the description below so i ordered from three three different places um and yeah i'm excited i think we're going to start with <laughs> i think we're gonna start with this one first and then we'll get to this one this one's got like a little bag and a notebook and then all the little goodies that are with it too so i think this one would be fun to save for last um so yeah, let's get into it. This is going to be our spicy fantasy option. The seller has included some sticky tabs for us to use for annotating purposes. And then this little highlighter right here. That's upside down. So this highlighter right here. And it's just going to be, I think, just like a gray like chisel tip. But I'm excited. I've never used a gray highlighter before. But I think it'll look really, really beautiful. So I'll sit that down right there. We'll go ahead and pick this up. We have some stickers. I'm going to sit on my keyboard. Or my fiance's keyboard. I'm filming this over at his uh, house. Just because I haven't really had time to go over to my apartment. So I'll sit everything out. And then we can kind of go over it before we get the book unwrapped. So I'll set the book actually over here so I don't hit the keyboard. So we have, I think, about six stickers. So we'll go over several of them. This one's a book nerd sticker, and it's really shiny. I really like it. I think it's cute. Um, this one will probably go on my water bottle. Bring it up a little closer. Yeah, this one's definitely going to go on my water bottle. It's really, really pretty. Then we have this one. This one's kind of like a fantasy-ish. I like the dragon on top of the books. And it also has the same, I think it has the same kind of sparkle to it as this one does, which is really pretty. Then we have this one right here. A book a day keeps reality away, which I think is super true. And I just recently started back into getting to read books and I've enjoyed it so much. This one says, if it's not smut, I don't want to read it. I haven't read any, like, really smutty books in a long time. So I am, I'm excited to unwrap this one that we're working on right now. Smut Book Hoarder. This is, like, my first, like, book that I am adding to this kind of collection, and I'm kind of excited. And then we have the sticker, which says, between the pages of a book is a wonderful place to be. And I'm going to be giving this to my best friend, Priscilla, Carla, because I think that this just fits her aesthetic and her vibe. So we have three different reading lists. We have a, just like a regular one, then like a reading challenge, which is kind of cool. And then we have a book review. All of the little book challenges that she has included. I like this one probably the best because of the color palette. I like pink a lot. And then this one also is really cool because of how many different things you get to fill out. So yeah, I'm excited to fill this out. This one's probably going to be the one that I use for this book, which is obviously the intention, right? So, all right, I'll sit these over here. I'm so excited for getting ready to open the book. Let me not sit that in the candle though. Okay, sit the highlighter over here. 
And then, like I said earlier, she's included some sticky tabs here. Some of the other ones that I've seen have more, but I think this will be enough. If anything, I might order some more to go with the color scheme of the book. And you can see, I didn't peek, I promise. I pinky promise I didn't peek. It came unwrapped a little bit, so it probably got damaged in the mail. Not damaged, but like, it kind of got ripped in the mail, but... Anyway, enough rambling from me. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just tear. You know what? Instead of tearing, I have scissors right here. There we go. Look how easy that was. I didn't have to tear a thing. So I'll go ahead and I'll set this over here so I can use the sticky tabs later. And then we're going to go ahead and unwrap our spicy fantasy book. You guys like ASMR? <laughs> okay, so we are unwrapping our book. I'm kind of excited that it's a black book because I love that kind of aesthetic. And I love, I love, I love, I've not read this, but I have heard really good things about it. It's State of Grace Run Riot, Col Colette Rhodes. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the spine. It is a paperback, but I'm really excited. I love also, I'll go ahead and take a peek inside. I love the space down at the bottom for like annotating and notes and like how much space there is in the margins. I'm sure that's like the goal of the author, right? And then at the end of this like chapter here, you could like put like your thoughts and stuff on it. So I'm really excited. Um, let's see how many pages there is. I think there's about 300. Yeah, there's like 330. Little thank you page. All right, let's read the back of this. Okay, I went ahead and moved all of the wrapping paper before we read the back, because it was kind of bothering me. It's really beautiful. I love the like skulls on it and everything. My boyfriend or fiance, my fiance loves skulls. I have this little, I'll go ahead and turn the camera a little bit, kind of. But I have this little skull candy jar that I use for like his odds and ends things on his desk. Um, but yeah, I love this like skull wrapping paper. I think it's really pretty. But okay, the book is called Run Riot by Colette Rhodes. And we're going to go ahead and like I said, read the back of the book. So it says, by the time an Agathos woman reaches 25, she's supposed to be one thing and one thing only, bonded. I'm zero for four soul bonds, a disgrace to my family and the black sheep of my community. It had me feeling reckless, impulsive, daring. In a moment of weakness, I let the darkness lurking inside of me rule, and it changed everything. I was supposed to embrace the light, but how could I fear the dark when it brought me riot? Run Riot is the first book in State of Grace series. It is a slow burn reverse barren romance suitable for readers 18 plus. So I love that this is like the first book of a series, right? Because if I like it, I will go buy the entire thing. So that's kind of something exciting. And like I said, I just, I love how the book looks. I absolutely love it. And I also really like the different like color of the pages on the beginning of the chapter. I think that's really beautifully done. Like look at the beginning page. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and stack everything up. I just wanted to say I am so excited to read this book and I like that the annotating tabs match the color scheme of the book, like the gold and everything. Um. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm also excited to unwrap this next book. All right, guys, this next one I'm so excited for. It is our fantasy book. So we have a little bag of goodies here. I've got a notebook from the seller and I already kind of peeked inside. She wrote me a little note and then she's got like this little like these journal prompts. You are doing amazing. And I love, I love her handwriting so much. I love her handwriting so much. So, we've got some mental health journal prompts here. I'm really excited to use this. So, we'll go ahead and I'll tuck that in here. Set this down over here. 
And then we have some more stickers, which I love stickers. If you know me, you know I love stickers. So we'll go ahead and pop those right off. And I'm gonna set them over here with the little bag. We have a bookmark. Which, again, I, if you know me, you know I love pink. I love pink everything. I'll go ahead and take the tape off later. But I love, I love pink. And I love that bookmark. It's so pretty. And then we have a book review card as well. And I like this one too. I think that the graph paper design on it is really pretty. And I like all different, like the different, um, what's the word? Sections. I like the different sections that we have. And we get to put like the date we start reading it and the date we finish it and... It sounds like the book is going to be a hardcover book, which makes me really excited. So we'll go ahead and we'll unzip this. And I'll go ahead and pull everything out or dump everything out, I guess, is what we're going to do. So we have little Sour Patch gummies for Valentine's Day. These are super cute. I love Sour Patch Kids. I love sour candy. So I'm excited to eat these while reading this book. So here we have a bunch of different colored sticky tabs, which I'm really excited to use. Um, fingers crossed that this is like the color scheme of the book, right? Because these colors are so beautiful. I love like the plummy purple and like the fiery orange and corally colors. Um, I could think of a couple of different like annotations to use with them, which is really exciting, but we'll see. Then we have this little tannish rose pink highlighter and then this pink pen. Put those up together. I'm really excited. I love, <laughs> I'm going to say this like a thousand times. I love pinks, love pinks. And then right here we have a magnetic bookmark. And I really like that this bookmark could be used interchangeably between the two books that I just got because of the coloring of it. It sort of reminds me of like a tarot card or like stars. She included some Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Really excited, I love the marshmallow flavor. We've got a little enamel pen. And again, you guys know I love skulls. I think this one's so beautiful. This will probably go on my um, bag that I take with me to work that up a little bit it's really beautiful and then we have just a couple more things we have these eye masks here we've got some little cards here so we have a little thank you note from our seller i'll bring this up for you guys to see self-care mystery boxes so they have a website um they also like i said they have a tiktok so i'm gonna link that in the description like i said already and then we have some little positive affirmations. And then we have this card. I am capable of, and I believe in myself. Okay, so we're moving on to the fun part. We're getting ready to, I'm gonna move all of this stuff over, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're gonna unwrap this book. I'm so excited. I love, I love the wrapping paper on this one as well. I think it's really beautiful. I may, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cut down right here. That's actually what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to cut down the middle. I thought I cut a sticker. Anyway, but we're going to cut down the middle. I'm not going to peek. No peeking. Cut down the middle. Cause I kind of want to save the back of this with like her handwriting. Like I said, I think it's so pretty and I could make like a little bookmark out of it. Anyway, I'm so weird. All right. Ooh, I love the cover of this so far. Hold on. I mean, hello. Oh, it's taped right here. Oh, well. This is such an, a graceful unboxing. Okay. It's called Forged in Fire and Stars. A book for well-read, hopeless romantics who like their hero, 
Heroines conflicted and their love interests smoldering, their passions triangulated and torrid. Okay, I think this is gonna be a spicy fantasy. Maybe not like spicy, spicy, but it's definitely gonna be like fantasy romance, and I'm really excited. Um, look, look how beautiful this snake is. Oh my gosh, that's her little stamp. Shut up. That is so cute. Look at this, guys. Look. Look how beautiful that is. I love when sellers put something of theirs. She looks like she like signed my book for me that is so freaking cute okay we're gonna flip maybe if i could grab the next page okay so we have this i have this and it looks like there is a series hang on sorry looks like there's a series that this author has also written so it's called forged in fire and stars by andrea robertson so she's also read some other books. I'll go ahead and take this off. I love the beautiful orange color. And then the spine of the book. I'll go ahead and put this back on. Maybe if my hands will do the right thing. Okay. So you know how I said maybe this is the color scheme of the book? Look at this. Tell me this doesn't go perfectly with this. And also, kind of like what we did with the other book, we'll look at the margins. I forgot to look at them. So this is kind of also, like, perfect, I think, for annotating and the spacing and the paragraphs, too. <gasps> There's a fucking map. Oh, my God. Hold on. There's a map. Look at this. This is so freaking cool. Oh my god, I am in love. I'm definitely... I have to get through all of the books that I ordered, but I'm definitely ordering again because what the hell. Okay, here are the two books side by side. I I can't wait. I'm going to be probably reading these on my stream. I'm probably going to start with Forged in Fire and Stars. I'm going to read the first chapter of both of them. But... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm so excited to read both of these. I'm definitely going to be reading them both on stream. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, I haven't been this excited about reading in so freaking long. And like, look, look, oh my gosh, okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Um... If you would like to tune in to my Twitch channel, I will also have all of my socials in the description of the video as well. Um, again, thank you for being here. I've missed you guys so much. I'm really, really bad at streaming and really bad at doing what I do, um, which sounds bad, but I hope everyone has a good rest of their day and I look forward to seeing you guys in my discord or wherever I see you if you are my friends from work. I love you guys so much if you guys show up and watch the video. Um, I know that like this isn't really something we talk about together but making like videos and stuff to me is really really fun and I appreciate you guys showing up and being supportive friends and I love you guys. Anyway, before I get emotional and they, they, my work girls, they know how I get, they know I'm a crybaby. Um, but I really, really have missed everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. Um, leave a comment on how you're doing if I haven't seen you in a while and I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Okay. Bye.